Hello, I'm Tammy Walker, channel changer at Boxy Queens, and let me show you how I made my burnt forest diorama. This is a super easy project. I have my blue base of foam there, and I just paint it all black. Pretty simple. This took me just a few hours to make. I had to wait for it to dry, of course, as with every single project that I do. I've got some sticks in the yard. Actually, I looked online at pictures of burnt forests, and I found one that worked for the supplies that I already had. So I tried burning these to see what they look like, and you know, fire hazard, danger, danger. So I went ahead and just tried with some black paint, and I first did watered down, but after a while I just eventually used a full black acrylic right onto them. So you can see here, I'm pre-painting everything black as I go, and it doesn't really matter because as soon as I put the dirt on, it all ends up looking brown again. So I'm doing little sections. I went ahead and put my Mod Podge down, sprinkled the dirt on like you've seen in my other videos, and now I'm sealing it in with a watered down Mod Podge mat uh, and, and squirting it all over, and that will soon be really hard. So the, to absorb any of the excess glue, I will sprinkle on some fresh dirt onto the top of it. And since I have those LED lights, I thought I'd make it look like one of the stumps was still burning. So I just put a red LED in there. Now they do have flickering lights, but I don't have one of those. I just use what I have around to, to work for me. So I got it in there and I'm gonna go ahead and wire that like I have the others right through the middle of it. I'll drill a hole and then, and then hook up the wires and put it in a temporary little trench on the side. So now that the base dirt has dried, I do put trenches or piles of dirt, I mean, around the trees to look like the ashes have fallen down around. And then I'm gonna get out my gray paints and just kind of paint it all over. I actually mixed my black with my gesso to create these grays. And it didn't really matter, I just put them all over. And then after that dries, I just take black and I put them on the tree and on the piles all around. And I just kind of kept tabbing you know, tap, tap, tap with your brush all around and, and getting into some of the grays. And so it was a pretty simple thing to do is just paint the sticks and the ground and the dirt and let that dry. I have a assortment of tiny bones that I've taken out of owl pellets. So I'm going to use those and make it look like a little animal has burned up and it's just his bones left over in the middle of my burnt forest. I placed the bones in aluminum foil and used my torch and just uh, s charred them up a little bit so they look nice and burnt and crispy. The bones are pretty fragile at this state so I have to gently and painstakingly apply all the bones into the center. And for the skull I found a ear bone. It's like an eardrum round little bone and it kind of worked really well for the head and I used a few little tiny vertebrae and some broken leg bones and ribs to put around. I tried to make my look like my animal was uh, kind of in a little fetal position laying there. And we are done. The project is finished. I think it looks pretty good. It was just something simple and I was kind of inspired by the recent events of the fires in the Pacific Northwest and we are dealing with a lot of the smoke these last few few days from it so I just wanted to make something in a way as a memorialize the events that's going on. Now I did try to photograph this outside in the daylight, at sunset, in the night, I tried it inside with lights on and with lights off and I just really couldn't get a very good representation of this with my camera. But I'm sure as I go on, I will figure out a better way to do it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.